What's up guys? I'm going to start part 6 of this stealth drone build. I went ahead off camera and assembled a few more things. Went ahead and finished up my wiring for my retracts. This is my LED lighting. And like I said, I went ahead and took off my landing gear and painted it black, just matte black on the bottom. Installed my servos with the control rods. And then I got my E flight park flyer size control horns. For the carbon fiber rod, I just take and sharpen the ends of it with a Dremel push it right through the foam cups. Just like how I got here. And then just tape it onto the wings. Some packing tape. And that way you can use your carbon fiber rod on your next build. Just come right off there. Alright. Got some other things on the bottom here. I'll show you what I did. Alright, here's the top of the fuselage we did in part 5. Now on the plans, I went ahead and cut off the very tips of the wings. And here, you, I have it written on here, score on the bottom side. Slight to set the slight angle. So I just cut it off the plans. Set it on the end of my wings. Mark the two lines, two score lines. And I went ahead and cut a half a V-notch out. And then I set each one at about a, it's probably a 15 degree angle on both pieces. So you get a slight downward swoop at the end of the wing there. Alright, and for some of these other pieces, these are your bottom fins. It was marked on the plans, bottom fins. Got the front, back, top, bottom. That's what I got here. On both sides. And what I did was I went ahead and installed my uh, servo for my steering. I just went ahead and cut out the foam board, set the servo down in there about a quarter inch. I actually left the top side of the foam board on the bottom so I just cut out the very top layer of paper and then the foam and left the bottom layer of foam or paper on there. Push the servo down in there. Make sure make sure your remote and all your trims are centered out. And then I went back. Now you wouldn't believe it but this works great. It's just reach dental floss. This stuff is really strong guys. Went ahead and wrapped it through twice. Run it around twice. And I tied it. Did it on both sides. And what you can do is go ahead and center it before you even put your dental floss on. Center the tire like how I got it. And then just put a bead of hot glue to connect it so the tire stays nice and straight and then go ahead and wrap your dental floss around tie it in a knot there then once you do that you got them both done I'll go ahead and take some foam safe glue put it right in the center of it here put it on there and then you can take and twist this kinda hold it and twist it as it's drying and they'll dry nice and tight. As you can see there. And these are all, like I said, just these are just my LED lights that I'll be installing in the wings. These all run down to the back. All 
right, and another piece that was on the plans was the bottom canopy fin. It was marked front and back. This goes right up against the front retract. And it runs just underneath the canopy and it gives it a good effect when you're looking down at it from the top. So that was that piece. And these were your bottom fins. And make sure when you install your bottom fins that you put them just slightly back away from the servo so the servo has can room to move. Just like how I got there. I already got these are my tail fins I already have cut out. And again on part five I showed you the I was gonna go ahead and paint back into this some. So I went ahead and touched it up front and back. Alright, now I'm going to get into, uh, I want to install this top of this canopy. So now that all my wiring is done, that's when I go ahead and install this. And again, I went back here and I painted all this. That way, once I install this, I won't have to be shooting into the jet. Same with the nose. I already installed my canopy and the piece that came on. Just hot glued it on there. Yeah, I never hot glue my carbon fiber rod on anything because you don't want to ruin this stuff. It's quite expensive sometimes to buy these pieces. There's no sense in getting hot glue all over them. Alright. Alright, so what I like to do is I wanna I wanna distribute the weight of the plane on all four cups. So I'll put two near the front. Go ahead and come back here to the back. I'll stick a couple underneath the wings. So just make sure you got all four cups spread out evenly underneath. I'm going to go ahead and pull these landing gear up. I like to install the top of the fuselage with the landing gear up. And here you can see I got my LEDs. I just went ahead and ran the LED wires right out the side of the retracks. So I'm going to go ahead and retract these landing gear. So I like to have the landing gear up so when I put this on, I know it ain't rubbing on them or nothing. Now with all four foam cups propped underneath the main wing, I want to be able to push hard down on this once I get some hot glue on it. So I wanted to make sure I distribute the weight of the wing on four cups evenly. And I want this wing to be straight. So as I'm pushing down everything comes out nice and straight and aerodynamically correct. Alright so once I center this on here I'm just going to mark it with a pin. Just the very front noses pieces. Just give me a reference point of where I'm setting it back on here. So where I marked it there, 
I want to make sure once I get some hot glue on this I can place it right on those marks and then just lay this down nice and even in the back uh, the afterburner light system worked out awesome show it to you when I do my flight video but all right now what I do too is for my hatch that I'm gonna make after I apply this on here I'm gonna line this kind of up where I want it take a peek under here see where my battery and everything is just kind of get a reference and where I'm gonna want my hatches here and if I want to make another hatch back here all right let's go ahead and install this and what I do you don't have to put a ton of hot glue on this I'm just gonna put a couple of nice little beads center it on here really nice drop it down on then I'll go back once that dries and I'll put a nice nice bead all the way down this where it connects on. So then I know it's secure. Alright, let's go ahead and get some hot glue on this. Like I said, you're not gonna need a whole bunch on this. I don't want it oozing out and making a big mess everywhere. stuff will set up quick on you. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and line it up with my marks on the front and drop it down in the back. So I'm going to go back and hit this with a nice bead all the way down. Right, I'm going to go ahead and mark out this. Now I'm going to make my battery hatch. battery hatches I like to just cut it out of 45 all the way around the whole piece I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now five degree angle cut toward the inside of the piece all the way around. Make sure I 
finish all these cuts off. So there's my battery, here's my hatch. Now all I do, so this way you don't need no magnets or nothing to hold these hatches down on here. You put a piece of clear tape on the nose. That's it, guys. That way, I don't have to use no magnets or nothing. Just the suction of the EDF unit and then the jet going through the air keeps the hatch down. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Okay, I didn't realize I left it plugged in. I'll go back and I'll hit I'll hit the inside of this with some foam safe glue to make it nice and strong. Alright, looks good. Now these are the side canopy covers. They're marked on the plans. I already went and cut mine out. And it was marked there's a couple of 45 degree cuts on these, you'll see them on the plans. And I went ahead and cut them. 45 degree angle at the bottom. Sometimes you gotta go back and trim these out a little bit to fit. These go right on the side of the fuselage here. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to trim them a little. Yeah, if any of your parts don't fit right, just go ahead and trim off a little at a time, guys. Don't, don't take no big chunks off. You always take more off, you can't add it on. And there's where that's going to go. I actually got two of them. This one goes here. Go ahead and trim that a little. I'm not going to glue these on yet. I'm just showing you where they go. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this jet first. And those are the side canopy covers. This is your canopy here, so I just called them side canopy covers. Alright, so we hot glued the top on. These here, I'm going to paint these before I install them. Or you can always install them, cover this with some blue painter's tape, tape off the canopy, and you could shoot it that way too, which I might do it that way too. Alright, now that I got the top on here, I'm going to go back and clean off the nose of this gun. Now I want to take and run a nice fine bead down both sides of this fuselage we installed. And it's going to be a very slight bead. Anywhere you get access glue, guys, just wipe it off with your finger. So 
like that. That way I'll seal it on there real nice. Let's go ahead and hit this other side. Alright, so there's the top of the fuselage installed. I've got my battery compartment cut out. Now again, I made the CG right where we connected the two foam pieces for the main airframe. Which is right here where the hot glue line is. That's going to make your plane nose heavy if you go right on that CG. If you go back slightly behind it, You can make this plane a little bit more tail heavy if you'd like, so you can move your CG just slightly back behind that if you want. I like to make my jets a little bit tail heavy. Gives you a lot more control. So just go ahead and make your first flight with the CG just right on the line or just behind it. part seven I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my paint part seven is just gonna be a flight video and then I'll show you like these front pieces that I'll have glued on here and painted and I'm also once I finish this with matte black on this top I'm gonna to take a can of clear uh, not clear but a uh, gloss black and I'm gonna cover this and the thrust tube all up I'm going to leave all that matte black along with the front, but then I'm going to go ahead and shoot all this with gloss black. But I noticed the gloss black, like the tester's paint that I have, the matte black, I think it's downstairs, it works good as a primer, as a base coat, so that the gloss black will go on nice and smooth and it'll come out nice and shiny. So make sure you use the matte black first, cover all your white and then come back with a can of gloss black and just hit the top. The bottom of the jet, I'm just leaving that matte black. I ain't even messing with that. I kind of like the shiny on the top and flat on the bottom. how your nose wheel retracts your dental floss moves right out of the way comes up now another good thing with your jets guys I see a lot of guys on YouTube taking off and their jets all swirly going down the runway go ahead and set your your nose wheel set your dual rates on that steering like my dual rates, I got it at 100% right there. 
as you can see I can do some sharp turns but when I go to take off I click over my dual rates and look at how that's just like the minimal amount you want it to move it doesn't have to move much guys to go straight down the runway and it looks more like a scale takeoff too instead of your plane going down the runway all shaking and stuff so go ahead and set up your dual rates I just picked up this orange RX from Hobby King they're like 64 bucks maybe a hundred and hundred and some bucks by the time you have it shipped but I, I love this remote and I don't need anything more than six channels I mean unless you want bomb door bays and all other stuff opening for the canopy to open up six channels all you need good thing too guys when you install your servos always make sure you take and cut cut the top paper off you know I marked a I went ahead and marked around the servo with a pen moved the servo to the side and I took and cut the paper off underneath the servo so that way when you hot glue your servo on it's right to the foam and it's strong that way then it ain't gonna break off there if you just hot glue it to the paper here that paper is going to peel here's our side fins and that's what covers the nose wheel for the landing gear gives it that scale look when it's flying by go ahead and show you my thrust tube here here's my LED lights of anything else I gotta really show you guys next video I do will be a uh, the flight video and I've already I've already built two of these jets and flown them so I know they flow they fly beautiful and if you guys want if you use don't want to run your carbon th fiber rod through your thrust tube you just can always move it up in front of the EDF unit here you know, there's enough room here to stick it right through here I just like to get it over the back part of these wings here so that's why I installed it back there and again you can use uh, dental floss to hook up your steering and that stuff is strong it won't break I went ahead and wrapped it around twice guys Just feed it through the holes twice tie it off in a knot and then once it's all trimmed up and centered you can take put a little bit of foam safe glue and give it a twist until it dries and that makes it nice and nice and strong I've never had it break during takeoffs. All right, and for the last thing, your tail fins—they butt up right against. I'll start them like at the back of the KF airfoil, and they butt right into the foam that you use to secure the top of the fuselage to the main wing 